Ahead of the 2022 general election, a non-governmental organization, Stakeholders Democracy Network, STN, has launched a program known as Women and Youth Agenda in River State. The program is a social organization action aimed at increasing political participation and representation by women and youth in the run-up to the 2023 election and secure policy commitment and actions from candidates. Speaking at the lunch in Port Harcourt, the program manager of SDN, Florence Kayemba, said it is targeted at priority areas for women and youth. She also stressed that the primary focus is to address the demands from political actors, especially candidates seeking elective offices. As you are well aware that at a time in our country's history where we have voices longing for greater attention in a country obviously plagued by so many challenges, this hasn't come at a much better time than to recognize the importance of including women young people who now form the majority in our country, and of course the persons with disabilities. In his keynote address, President of Rivers Entrepreneurship and Investors Forum, Ibifiri Bob Manuel, stressed the need for politicians, especially those empowered to see investors and the business community as partners in progress. He advised participants to use their permanent voter cats, pivots to elect the right candidate, or will make their interest paramount when they assume office in 2023. The senior project officer of SDN, Flora Asieri, said the organization wants manifestors of political parties and candidates to reflect the demand of women, the youth, and the vulnerable in the state. When we pay our taxes, we employ more, and hopefully, eventually, the state generates a higher internally generated revenue. So if you must have to get yourself a well-paying job, then you must have to sit back and think about the kind of people you are going to vote for come 2023. It's very important. Registered for the CVRA exercise, they also were able to pass the message across that as young people, as women, they should also be able to participate in party politics by being card-carrying members of political parties. This is crucial for the agenda on inclusion in 2023 and beyond. The UK has been a long-standing supporter of uh, efforts to strengthen and broaden Nigeria's democracy. In support of a successful not you too young to run campaign to reduce the constitutional age limit um, for the existing uh, elective office. Some politicians present at the launch of the Women and Youth Agenda for the 2023 elections in River State signed a commitment form as a way of engaging them after they assume office in 2023. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.